The Undead Couple Cynthia and Tyrone's nightmarish encounter with zombies Tyrone had always been a curious man. Maybe that was why he decided to explore the abandoned laboratory on the outskirts of town. He had heard rumors about strange experiments conducted there and couldn't resist the urge to investigate. Little did he know that this would be the beginning of his nightmare. As he made his way through the dilapidated building, he heard strange noises coming from the room at the end of the hallway. He cautiously approached the door and peered through the keyhole. What he saw made his blood run cold. There were zombies in the room, dozens of them, all intent on devouring anyone who crossed their path. Tyrone's heart was pounding in his chest. He had to get out of there before the zombies noticed him. But as he turned to leave, something grabbed him from behind. He turned around to face Cynthia, a woman he had met earlier that day. She had been exploring the laboratory with him and somehow had managed to find him. Cynthia had a strange look in her eyes, and Tyrone realized with horror that she had been bitten by one of the zombies. She was turning into one of them, and there was nothing he could do to stop it. With tears in his eyes, Tyrone tried to reason with her, but it was too late. She lunged at him, and he had no choice but to defend himself. It was a brutal fight, but eventually, Tyrone managed to subdue Cynthia. He tied her up and left her in a corner, hoping that help would arrive soon. But help never came. Days turned into weeks, and Tyrone was trapped in the laboratory with no way out. The zombies were closing in on him, their bloodthirsty moans filling the air. Tyrone was running out of options, and he knew that he needed to come up with a plan if he wanted to survive. He spent hours searching the laboratory for a weapon, anything that would give him an advantage against the zombies. Finally, he found what he was looking for, a flamethrower. It was a risky choice, but it was his only hope. With the flamethrower in hand, Tyrone made his way through the laboratory, burning everything in his path. The zombies screamed in agony as they were consumed by the flames, but even as he fought them off, he couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. It wasn't until he reached the end of the hallway that he saw her. Cynthia had managed to break free of her restraints, and she was watching him with dead, lifeless eyes. She was no longer human, but a monster, just like the zombies. Tyrone tried to reason with her, but it was useless. Cynthia launched herself at him, and in a split second, they were both consumed by the flames. The laboratory went up in a blaze of fire, and the zombies were finally destroyed. But as the flames died down, there was a haunting silence. Tyrone was gone, consumed by the flames, and his horrified screams echoed in the emptiness. Cynthia's body lay, motionless, on the ground, a twisted reminder of what had happened. No one ever heard from Tyrone or Cynthia again. The laboratory remained abandoned, a dark and foreboding reminder of the horrors that had taken place there. It was said that the ghosts still haunted the building at night, their screams still echoing through the halls. The horror of that day never left the minds of the people who had lived to tell the tale. The zombies, Tyrone, and Cynthia are a thing of the past, but their memory lives on. They were a reminder that there are things in this world that should never be explored, a warning to those who dared to test the limits of science and curiosity. It was a reminder that sometimes, horror comes in the most unexpected ways, and once you've crossed the line, there's no going back. <laughs> Ha 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 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and tell us what you think in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.